Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, just welcome. <laughs> Good to see ya. <laughs> my name is Sayun, and today we're gonna do a super fun um, arm balance-y kind of yoga flow. However, before we get into it, I'm just gonna take a quick sec to tell you about my online membership, which is called Flow Society which has, uh, it's like a monthly subscription program and you get access to this like big library of classes. New one gets added, like new exclusive one gets added every week. Um, you can also get access to all the YouTube classes in there as well. There's uh, also a calendar where you can click on like a suggested practice for every day of the week if you fancy some yoga every damn day. <laughs> um, and there's even a live class so on Wednesdays we do a live class on Zoom which you can join either as part of the membership or you can just drop in if you feel like it um, you can book all that through my website I'll pop a link in the description and in like either one of these corners I don't know which one <laughs> so click on that to have a little bit of a uh, read to find out more however now, let's get into some arm balance flowing. <laughs> All right, so let's start out in a child's pose. Big toes to touch, bringing the knees fairly narrow, reaching the arms out long. Taking a deep inhale and a long exhale. Really rooting down through the hands. Inhale to shift the weight forward so you come into like a knee plank. And then on the exhale, hugging the upper arms in, lowering just a third of the way down. Inhale, pressing it back up. Exhale, sinking the hips back over the heels. Child's pose. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, pressing it up. Exhale, sink it back. Let's keep it moving. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. So keep the body really strong here. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. So we're careful not to like drop the tummy or the chest. We keep it nice and tucked in as we lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, taking it back, pausing for a moment. Drawing the tailbone back, reaching the fingertips forward. Taking a deep inhale. And a long exhale. Inhale, rising all the way up onto the hands and knees, coming into a tabletop this time. Let's spend a little bit of time warming up the wrist here. Just spreading out the fingers a touch and then starting to softly rock the weight forwards and back over the wrist. Gently warming them up. I want you to really spread the weight through the hands here. So rooting down through the base of the, of the, base of the thumb, base of the index finger, as well as the pinky finger. Nice, and then maybe we start to take it side to side here. Maybe we start to draw these big circles with the chest over the wrist. Nice, taking in the other direction. Yeah. And coming back into the center, let's take the fingertips out to the side. And again, maybe taking it side to side a little bit here, softly moving. And 
and bringing the fingertips in towards the body. Nice. Pressing the hands down into the mat. Breathing. And then bring the fingertips to face forward again. Let's softly press the back of the hand down. So be really gentle here. So just gently opening up across the top of the wrist here. And let's do the same on the other side. Nice. Cool. When you're ready, we're going to inhale to really press the mat away, kind of lifting up between the shoulder blades. On the exhale, gently lowering just the chest down so you kind of squeeze the shoulder blades together behind the back. Inhale, pressing it back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, pressing, really, really actively pushing the mat away. So it's like you're trying to lift the rib cage up and away from the floor. Like you're lifting it up through the back of the body. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold. Gonna exhale, tucking the toes and then sort of floating the knees off the mat. Inhale, hold. On the exhale, drawing the right knee in towards the right wrist. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, back. Exhale, right. Inhale, back. Keep pushing the mat away. Exhale, left. Inhale, back. One more each side. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, hold. Exhale, dropping the knees down, taking the hips back over the heels. Coming into a child's pose. Lashing the body soft and down here. Might feel nice to kind of roll out the wrist a little bit. One more breath. And then in your own time, slowly taking it all the way up into a downward facing dog. Taking a moment here. Maybe you want to like add in some little wiggles, maybe paddling through the feet. Maybe moving the hips a little bit. Maybe the head, the shoulders. Just go for whatever feels right for you today. And then softly walking the feet forwards towards the hands. And when you're all the way forward, spreading the weight through the feet, letting the upper body hang heavy. Maybe adding in like a little shake here. And then slowly rolling it up through the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way up into standing. Taking a deep inhale. And a long exhale. Inhale, floating the arms up high. Inhale, bending the knees, sinking the hips back, coming into a chair pose. 
exhale take it lower hold kind of drawing the belly button in towards the spine pressing the feet into the mat reaching the arms forward deep inhale exhale we're gonna take it all the way down onto the bum feel free to like use your hands to help you out reaching the arms forward floating the feet off the mat hold it deep inhale and on the exhale depending on how you're feeling you might just want to hold it here for a couple of breaths or exhaling to send the whole body out low inhale to draw it back in exhale extend inhale back in exhale extend inhale back in and hold exhale crossing the legs you can like sweep them around and plant the hands on the mat stepping it back into a plank deep inhale exhale drawing the right knee in towards the right wrist inhale back exhale left knee left wrist inhale back exhale right keep pushing the mat away inhale back exhale left inhale back one more each side exhale right inhale back exhale left inhale back exhale taking the knees to the mat lowering the chest just a third of the way inhale pressing it back up exhale slowly lowering all the way down onto the tummy pressing down through the tops of the feet inhale lifting the chest floating the hands off finding like a little bit of a squeeze in between the shoulder blades exhale slowly taking it all the way up into a downward facing dog holding breathing deep inhale long exhale deep inhale exhale bending the knees softly stepping or walking the feet forwards towards the hands releasing the head down maybe shaking it out nice slowly rolling it up through the spine one vertebrae at a time Coming all the way up into standing. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, bending the knees, sinking the hips back, chair pose. So we do that one more round. Exhale, lower. Deep inhale exhale taking the hips all the way down onto the mat finding that boat pose deep inhale exhale option to extend the whole body out low inhale drawing it back in exhale extend inhale back in squeezing the thigh exhale extend inhale back in and hold having like quite a nice open chest here deep inhale exhale either crossing the legs or sweeping them around planting the hands stepping it back into that plank deep inhale a little bit of a lift in between the shoulder blades exhale right knee towards the right wrist inhale back so the upper body stays really stable exhale left knee 
Inhale back. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale left. This is hard. Inhale back. One more each side. Exhale right. Inhale back. Exhale left. Inhale back. Holding. Exhale, knees to the mat, lowering the chest, third of the way. Inhale, back up high. Exhale, slowly taking it all the way down onto the tummy. Inhale, lifting the chest, floating the hands off. Exhale, lower, taking it all the way up into a downward facing dog. Nice, holding. Hopefully we're starting to warm up a little bit by now. <laughs> Breathing. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale, bending the knees, stepping or lightly hopping the feet forward. Releasing the head down, having a little shake here. Nice. Slowly rolling it up through the spine. Coming all the way up into standing. A moment here. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, bending the knees, sinking the hips back, chair pose. Exhale, taking it lower, holding. Deep inhale. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands down onto the mat, a little bit in front of the feet here. Really pressing into the mat, bending the elbows, taking the knees onto the upper arms, playing around with shifting the weight forward here. So if you've got it, feel free to float both feet off. Maybe you just play around with lifting one leg off and then the other. And then if you've got it, feel free to shoot it back through a chaturanga or stepping it back, exhaling to lower. Inhale, lifting the heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up high, downward facing dog. Nice. Moving straight into those arm balances. Inhale, reaching the right leg up into the air. Exhale, we're going to draw the knee over the right upper arm, really squeezing it in. Inhale, sending the leg back up high. Exhale, drawing the knee in towards the left armpit. Inhale, sending it back. Exhale, drawing the knee in towards the chest, holding. Really push the mat away. Deep inhale. Exhale, softly bring that foot in between the hands. Feel free to like... Help it along. Inhale, slowly rising up into a lunge. Exhale, super slowly lowering the back knee down onto the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale, option to lift the heart up just a little bit higher. Really opening up across that left hip. Deep inhale. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands on the inside of the foot and kind of like heel turn the foot out to the side a little bit. So it's kind of on the outer edge of the mat. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, sending the hips back, flexing into the front foot. Inhale, shifting it forward. Exhale, drawing it back. 
Inhale, shifting it forward. Nice. Exhale, drawing it back. Inhale, shifting it forward and hold. Maybe you stay up on the hands here. Or maybe you lower down onto the forearms. Coming into a lizard. Maybe we tuck that back toe. Really pressing into the mat, lifting the knee off. Breathing, deep inhale, long exhale. If you're down on the forearms, make your way back up onto the hands. Keep that back toe tucked, taking a deep inhale. On the exhale, sending the hips back, straightening out through that front foot, front leg and flexing the foot. Inhale, shifting it forward, bending into that front knee. Exhale, drawing it back, kind of pushing the mat away a little bit. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back, nice. Inhale, forward and hold it here. So really pressing the mat away. We're gonna try to lift off that right foot without um, basically keeping the knee on the upper arm. We kind of just scoop the foot up. Nice, inhale, hold. Exhale, sending it back up high, three-legged dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, option to take it through a vinyasa. Maybe you make it three-legged, maybe not. Meeting in a downward facing dog. Holding. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, reaching the left leg up into the air. Exhale, drawing the knee over the left upper arm, shifting the weight forward. Inhale, sending the leg back up high. Exhale, drawing the knee in towards the right armpit. Inhale, sending it up high. Exhale, drawing the knee in towards the chest, holding, push the mat away. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring that foot in between the hands again. Feel free to help it along. Inhale, slowly rising up into a lunge, nice. Exhale, super slowly lowering the back knee down onto the mat. Deep inhale. Exhale, option to lift the heart, again really opening up across that right hip. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down inside of the leg. Heel turn that foot out to the side. Pressing the mat away, deep inhale. Exhale, shifting the hips back, flexing into that front foot. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, draw it back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, draw it back. Inhale, forward and hold. Again, maybe staying up on the hands. Maybe we lower down onto the forearms. But either way, let's see if we can tuck the toe, lifting that knee off, really extending the heel back and the crown of the head forward. Deep inhale, long exhale. Inhale, lifting back up onto the hands, really pressing the mat away. Exhale, sending the hips back, flexing into that front foot. Feel free to keep like a little bit of a bend in the knee. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. 
Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward, holding for the exhale. Really pressing that mat away, shifting the weight fully into the hands. Inhale, lifting the foot off. Exhale, sending it back. Deep inhale. Exhale again, maybe vinyasa. Three-legged or otherwise. This time, let's take it into a child's pose for a moment. Because I'm getting very sweaty. <laughs> I hope you are too. Let's take a moment to breathe in. Sinking down into the hips, releasing the head, the shoulders, the neck and the jaw. One more full round of breath. And let's slowly take it all the way back up into a downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale and a long exhale. Inhale, lifting up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bending the knees and we're gonna, we're gonna hop the feet forward on the outside of the hands, we're like hopping into like a malasana. Inhale, hopping it forward, lifting the chest. Exhale, stepping it back. Let's keep hopping it forward. Lifting the heart as we land. And then stepping it back. Keep it going. Trying to hop the hips up high. Nice. On our next one, let's pause it forward. Pausing in our squat here. Pressing the feet into the mat, bringing the hands in at heart. Breathing. Deep inhale, long exhale, bringing the fingertips down onto the mat, pressing the feet into the mat, inhale, lifting the hips up high, stretching out through the knees, exhale, dropping it back down, slow and steady, inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, dropping it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This time, inhale, press it up. Holding it here, let's bring the toes to face the front of the mat. Releasing the head down. Maybe having like a little shake. And heel turn the feet back into the center. Either together or hip width apart, just depending on your preference. And then let's slowly roll it up through the spine. Coming all the way up into standing. A moment here, closing the eyes. Taking a deep inhale and a long exhale. Inhale, bending the knees, sinking the hips back, chair pose. Exhale, take it a little bit lower, hold it. Deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down onto the mat again, setting up for that crow pose. Bending the elbows, knees onto the upper arms, 
shifting the weight forward. So you really want to like press into the mat, kind of scooping the tummy up a little bit, a little bit of a lift in between the shoulder blades. Looking ahead. And then maybe we float the feet off. Holding. Breathing. And then whether you want to step it back or shoot it back, we're going to take it through a vinyasa. Nice. Inhale, lifting the heart upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up high. Downward facing dog. <laughs> One breath here, deep inhale, long exhale, and then inhale, sending the right leg up into the air, exhale, drawing the knee over the right upper arm, inhale, sending the leg back up high. Exhale, drawing the knee in towards the left armpit. Inhale, sending it back. This time, exhale, taking the knee back over the right armpit, lowering down through like chaturanga arms. Inhale, sending it back up high. Oh, arms are getting tired. Exhale, once more. This time, option to take it into like... Extending the leg up. I'm just gonna turn around. Not think of that. <laughs> Option here to extend through that right leg, floating the back leg off the mat, and then maybe through a vinyasa, meeting in a downward facing dog. Turning around again. <laughs> well done. Whether you did it or not, I'm proud of you. Taking a deep inhale. And a long exhale. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, drawing the knee of that left upper arm again. Option to straighten up through the leg or you can just play around with like lifting the leg off with the knee bent and then shooting it back. Ooh, maybe vinyasa, maybe not. And taking up into a downward facing dog. <sighs> nice work. Left side's always tricky for me in that one. It's always one which is a little bit tougher than the other. <laughs> taking a breath here. When we're ready, we'll prepare for those squat hops forward. Inhaling up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bending the knees. Hopping it forward, lifting the chest. Nice, stepping it back. Keep it going. Trying to land as lightly as we possibly can. Nice. Let's go for two more. And then on the last one, we'll meet forward. Nice meeting in that squat. Bringing the palms together. Breathing. Depending on how your wrists are feeling right now, it might feel nice to press the backs of the hands together, like that. Just be gentle with it. Bring the fingertips down onto the mat. Inhale, pressing the hips up, straightening out through the legs. Exhale, dropping them back down. Inhale, pressing it up. Exhale, dropping it down. Inhale, pressing it up and holding. Bring the toes to face forward again. 
but we'll keep the legs quite wide here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna play around with one final little arm balance. So feet might come in just a little bit more narrow, so we're like a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're gonna slide the arms like through the legs and I'll normally like frame the heel with my thumb and my index finger. So you sort of bend the knees, kind of slide the arms underneath and then you frame the heels with the thumb and the index finger. Drop the hips back, a little bit of a bend in the elbows here. And then you shift, wiggle the feet a little bit forward. Maybe this is plenty, maybe this is where we want to stay. Maybe you want to like play around with lifting the legs off a little bit. Maybe you even want to play around with like stretching the legs out, holding it. Maybe you want to drop the hips. I'm not going to do that today. And then if you've got it, there's like a fancy transition that takes you into crow. That's not going to happen for me today. Let's step it back. One final vinyasa. And then meeting in a downward facing dog. In fact, let's make it a child's pose, shall we? Dropping the hips back. Let's reach the arms back. Resting the tops of the hands on the mat. Releasing the head down. Breathing. Nice work. Deep inhale. Long exhale. And slowly reach the arms forward again, maybe rolling through the wrists a little bit. And taking up onto the hands and knees. And just however you want to, we're going to make our way into a seat. Let's take the feet out. The legs out quite wide. So coming into a wide-legged seat here. Bring the, depending on how much space you've got, maybe the arms forward, maybe the arms just behind the body here. But if you've got the arms forward and you've got a little bit more space, let's walk it a little bit further forward. Maybe bending the knees. Maybe we go like full pancake. Maybe not. <laughs> Either way is absolutely great. Holding it here, let's try to keep the legs quite active. So either flexed or pointed. See, I've bent my knees a little bit. I find that that feels better for my hamstrings today, but play around with it. Maybe you want to stretch them out. Maybe you want to bend the knees a little bit. Holding it here. Breathing. Deep inhale, long exhale, inhale, walking it back up high, bring the hands behind the body and let's just softly shake the legs back together, bending the knees, maybe taking them from side to side a couple of times. And bring the fingertips to face forward, rooting down through the hands, rooting down through the feet. Inhale, either just lifting the heart up, kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together, or you can lift the hips off as well, coming into a full reverse tabletop here. Really lifting up through the front of the body, engaging through the back. Deep inhale. Exhale, softly lower it down. Let's take the tops of the hands down, pressing them a little bit into the mat, lifting the heart. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Either reaching the arms out or you can support the hands on the backs of the thigh and make our way all the way down onto the back. Whether we hold it 
with the arms out or support ourselves. Taking your time to slowly lower all the way down onto the mat. Nice. Releasing the arms out wide. Taking the feet out a little bit wider about mat width apart. Bending the knees. Deep inhale. Exhale, softly lowering the knees over to the left. Inhale, bring them back into the center. Exhale, lowering them over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the left and pause. Either holding it here or you can take that right leg and kind of cross it over the left knee, coming into a slightly deeper twist here. Let's keep the right shoulder really soft so it, it stays grounded on the mat. Breathe in. Deep inhale. Long exhale. I'm crossing the leg and slowly inhaling to bring the knees back into the center. And exhale, taking it over to the right and pause. If you cross the leg on the other side, let's do the same on this one. Crossing that left leg over the right. Breathing, maybe the eyes are closed. One more full round of breath. And gently bring it back into the center. Maybe taking them from side to side a couple of times. Maybe hugging the knees in. But when you're ready, let's extend those legs out long. Coming into our Shavasana here. Releasing the body into the mat. Letting go of any effort. Letting go of any control of the breath. Feel free to stay here for as long as feels right for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe, and yet check out my membership, Flow Society. Thank you so much.